Hello boys and girls, today we're going to do lesson 2.7, which involves addition of multi-digit numbers. Our vocabulary starts with partial sums, and this is a method that you should have learned back in second grade um, if you were in the Greenfield schools. If not, then I'm showing it to you today. Um, partial sums is when we are adding um, hundreds, tens, ones separately, and that should make sense in just a few minutes. And then we have what's called column addition, which is where we stack and add one column at a time. And this is the traditional method that your parents probably learned. Okay, so let's take a look at our first problem, and we're going to do partial sums. And you'll notice that I have 39 plus 23, and off to the side I've got tens, ones written down. And so basically what you're going to do is you're going to look at your tens column which has your three and your two and you're going to add 30 plus 20 and that's going to give you 50. Okay? Then we're going to look at our ones column where we have our 9 and our 3. So we're going to add our 9 plus our 3 and we're going to get 12. And now we're going to add those two together. So our answer is 62. Okay, let's try another one. This one I added the hundreds in, so you could see how that one works, and you would also do it the same way if you had an even bigger number. Um, but I'm giving you 235 plus 115. So if we take our hundreds first, we've got our two and our one, so that two is worth 200, and the one is worth 100. That's going to give us 300. Then we're going to move over to our tens. We have a 3 and a 1. The 3 is worth 30 and the 1 is worth 10. So when we add those together that of course equals 40. And then we have a 5 and a 5 in our ones. So we're going to add 5 plus 5 and that's going to give us 10. So we're going to add all of those together and our answer is 350. Okay, so that is partial sums. Now we're going to take a look at regular column addition and I've got three uh, problems here for us to look at and I put it on grid paper because that's what we're doing. We are adding in columns. So we would start right here in the ones column and then we will work our way to the left. So we add 2 and 5 and we get 7. We add 6 plus 3 we get 9 and we add 1 to nothing we get 1. So the first problem, our answer would be 197. If we take a look at the second problem, we're going to start again with our ones column. We add 6 plus 6, we get 12, and in this case we have to regroup, so we're going to put a 1 up here. And then we're going to take 1 plus 9, which is 10, plus 3 gives us 13. Again, we're going to regroup. So our 1 comes up here, and now we have 1 plus 4, which is 5, plus 2 gives us 7. So for this problem, we get 732. We're going to take a look at the last problem. Again, we're going to start in the 1's column. 3 plus 9 is 12. Put our 2 here. Our 1 comes up top. 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 6 is 7, and then 4 plus nothing is 4. So that is column addition. Okay, we're basically taking those columns and adding each one. 
Okay, this game that I'm going to introduce today is called High Number Toss. And for this game, you're going to need one um, six-sided die, uh, one sheet of paper, but you're not really going to use a sheet of paper. You're going to use the game sheet that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, this is a two-player game, and basically we're going to be looking at place value and exponential notation. So the object of the game is to make the largest number possible. So when we look at step one, each player um, draws four blank lines on a sheet of paper. And like I said, you're not going to have to do that because it'll be done for you. But you're going to use that record sheet to record the numbers that come up when you roll the die. So um, let's jump to number two. Player one will roll the die and they're going to write the number on any of the four blank lines that you have. So you get to decide if you're going to put it on the first, second, third, or fourth line when you roll the die. Um, it doesn't have to be the first blank and it doesn't have to be the last. You just need to keep in mind that you want to make the largest number that you can because the largest number wins. Um, so number three, the player two will roll the die and they will write their number on a line and you'll go back and forth until you each have your four digit number. So if we um, look at step number five, each player then uses the four numbers on his or her blanks to build a number. The numbers on the first three blanks are the first three digits of the number the player builds. The number on the last blank tells the number of zeros that come after the first three digits. So each player reads his or her number and they look at the place value chart and the player with the larger number wins the round. The first player to win four rounds will win the game. Okay. So here is what your record sheet will look like. And as you can see from player one here, this player um, rolled a one, a three, a two, and a six. And that is the order that they decided to put their numbers. And so when you come down here, they write one, three, two, because that's the first three digits. And then the six, represents all of those zeros, okay? So that is how you play that game. So let's do a summary. We've talked about partial sums, and hopefully that's a review for most of you. And that's where we basically take the numbers apart and we break them down by hundreds, tens, and ones, and then we add them together. Um, we talked about and looked at column addition, and that is when we add each column individually. And we learned how to play the high number toss game. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, again, if you have questions, please write those down and bring them to class, and I will be more than happy to help you with those. Thanks for watching.